studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do something a little bit different than I have done in the past. I am going to show you what I keep in my art travel bag. I bought this off of Amazon and you can tell it is fully packed. I grabbed this and one of my sketchbooks. Well, I may grab a couple of my sketchbooks. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in that day. But for the most part, this goes with me in where I go. <coughs> so, let's open it up and see what's all in here. And like I said, it is fully compact. Um, in the front pocket is a 6 inch ruler. Sanding paper for my pencils. And always, I keep business cards with me. Never know when the opportunity might hit. I have two gift cards to, as scrapers or whatever I need to use them for. This is a the dollar you buy two of the dollar cut mats at Dollar Tree. I've cut them up. I use these as extra watercolor palettes. if I need them because a lot of times I take a small well you'll see okay I have got the 36 count of prism corners in here as you can tell then I've got the 12 uh, 12 piece uh, fine touch draw uh, sketching pencils I got a white charcoal, I got just a regular uh, soft two, I got a black charcoal, I got a woodless pencil, I got just a regular drawing pencil from uh, Dell and Ronnie, it's a sketch in HB, I've got a retractable eraser, won't leave home without that thing. I got a brush to brush off of a dust or color, uh, colored pencils or whatever I need to use it for. I bought this at Dollar Tree for a buck, guys. I'm cheap. On the back flip, and this all comes out. If I don't want to take all of it, I don't. I can take and I lose pencils. That's the only thing I do have against this. Did I just lose one? It's not. Okay. But this comes out. I got my uh, travel, uh, my water brushes. I got my set of my new set of uh, three round travel brushes in here. And I now I use these in the studio also because I like. I mean, I just like them. I'm going to have to get a new set. I keep, these is a uh, Prism Corners 5 and the Bold. I've got the Cleaver, uh, the C2 somewhere. Then I keep three of the Micro Pins, the 1, 3, and 5. And I'm not sure why I've got a highlighter in here, but but we have it. This thing needs to go out. Ah. I keep a kneaded eraser in its container. I keep a pencil sharpener. I keep a couple rows of washi tape. Just a regular rubble. I keep these clamps where I can clamp my books if I need to. I keep Oh, I got a pencil missing. I keep a 9, a 5, and a 7. Normally, you know, my 7 is missing. That's probably in my desk. And I keep a pencil extender with me. Because I never know. And I keep one alcohol blending marker with me. As you can tell, I use it. I keep, and this is new. I ain't had this long. I keep a craftsful cup with me for watercolor. 
And this is my watercolor palette that I take. And where I go. It's just in a an inward tin. I got five corners in it. I've got Arthurine and Blue, Bronx Sienna, Deep Illusion uh, Red, Zep Green, and Gam Gambag somehow, whatever you want to call it. And I've got a piece, I've got the names on in the lid, but I also got a piece of a uh, the cut mat in here as a palette. That's why I've got the other palettes because this is so little. And I keep it tied up with it, just a regular rubber band. And that is what's in my travel pouch. And let's see if I can find it. I think it's seven. seven eight. Nine. So we've back set on that. Now I'm gonna empty this before it gets all over the place. So what do y'all use? What 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 do you, what's in y'all travel pouches? Is it? I'm I'm sure it ain't as much as in mine. But I take it. To the bedroom with me a lot of times because I draw like I like to draw at night while my husband's watching TV. And that way we're still spending time together. And sometimes I'll throw in my ink tints, ink pad, uh, watercolors, or just a, a big water one of my other watercolor palettes. Uh, I keep a bottle of water with me. I keep paper towels in the truck. Um, I carry a big old backpack, and sometimes it's full, sometimes it's you know, half empty. I never know. But let's see if we can put this all back in here. Hush, Daisy May. And I got a bulky dog puppy. And here we go. I think I'm about outgrew it. Maybe I need to buy a big one. Alright, I hope y'all enjoyed this short video. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, if you want to see more videos of what I have on hand or what how I do stuff, <coughs> <coughs> comment down below. Email me at Angie's Creative Studio, and I hope y'all have a blessed day. We'll catch you later. Bye.